Lumber Tube Selects here, back with, <clears throat> back with something DIY related again. And one day I'm going to try and get that intro to actually flow off the tongue a bit better than I have done in the past anyway. Now, who remembers, who, I mean, if you've been a regular of my channel, you probably are aware of this. Um, but who remembers the uh, the poor man's cool box or P poor man's Peltier cool box, whatever it was, that other monstrosity beer cooling <laughs> device that uh, I made essentially out of a cardboard box. And, well... To be fair, my interests have moved from Peltier modules to super capacitors as of late, but Peltier devices still still did interest me, and hence why the cardboard box came to existence, uh, which it did a fairly good job. I mean, actually better than I expected. Uh, at least if you give it enough time, uh, that cardboard box could chill things down to about 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. So it was very effective, uh, if, well, quite obvious, yeah, which, <clears throat> if I could English please, you know, once two degrees, that's pretty much a fridge temperature, eh? you know, you certainly can't uh, deny that. And this slightly, well, not the best looking example here is my attempted, and it does work, but I'll get back to that, uh, my attempted successor uh, to the cardboard box as well a cardboard box wouldn't last forever we all know this and well I knew that I would have to try and make something in this case out of wood eventually or well wood or anything else more robust than a cardboard box and I'd also in, in hopes that I'd get something a bit more effective in what it did now it is a mess I know there's like wires everywhere there's like bits of hot glue you can see it's there and it's a mess right now that's mostly because as I was building it and it worked initially but there were problems uh, and I've been just doing a lot of troubleshooting and this result is the one that I'm just going to keep as it technically works it's not pretty but it does work now, I'll explain everything in a second here, but I think the, one of the biggest elephants in the room, which I'll start with, was the power supply, or the power solution to the foot of the old cardboard box being a PC power supply. Hey, it worked. Not practical in the slightest, as it's just a big, right, you know, girt mess of wires, considering you don't need half of them. Now, this ain't pretty, but, well, I found myself on Amazon. This, um, that was 150-ish watts. They say 150 watt, but... What was this? Uh, 12 volts at um, 12 and a half amp power supply. Just a big power brick. Just plug it into your standard you know, PC power connector. And I will tr probably solder one on it, solder something on at some point. But uh, got myself an XT60 connector. Uh, and I had some um, of these terminal blocks. I think this is a raised up to what 10 amp, 15 amp terminal block. Um, just so I can get a, um, a connection. You know, or have a decent connector. XT60 seems to be quite nice. Um, and that plugs into the back there. Uh, which I may as well just show you there. Just plugs into there. And then there's some breakout leads and stuff. Now, the actual business end, meaning the Peltier device, I did decide to spend only a couple quid more. Uh, and get myself a, um, well, the standard size unit, but rated at 10 amps, uh, as to see if that would increase, you know, the cooling potential. And it kind of does now... I don't have any current reading devices to see if it's actually rate if it actually is pulling the 10 amps that it should um cuz to be fair if that thing's running well if that thing's going to pull 10 amps on the uh, peltier side add a little bit for the fans there's fans on the inside and outside so let's say what well, half an amp um running at 10 and a half amps and that's 12 and a half amp power supply I would expect that supply to get you know modestly warm in operation and it doesn't it gets warm but not as hot as I was expecting. Hey, that could be a good power supply. And maybe I'm just overthinking it a little bit. But regardless, that is, you know, that's that really. And it does work uh, in the end. Now, the biggest problem, because I, I got one of these, uh, you know, cooling kits, which came with a heatsink um, on both sides, right? They obviously a tower cooler, two sets of fans, although I only have one here. Uh, and the obviously there's a the cold side heatsink and the hot side. Now, I would say, although oh yeah, here's the uh, that's just the apps way. I have got the uh, the thing hooked together. Um, the cold side heatsink. I'm just going to say right off the bat was too small. Uh, it was there was not enough air circulation inside the box, such that we were actually getting ice forming on the cold side. But the actual air inside was not particularly cold, hence why I had to change that, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, and you can sort of see the arrangement here. It's not pretty. There's just a bunch of tissues just wedged in there for insulation. Because the biggest problem, uh, which I may as well open it up, is 
the the Peltier is you know there's, there's the hot and the cold side are so close together it's just trying to separate them adequately speaking uh, and you can also see I got a bigger heat sink I've just got some wedges in there it's just cut into this cardboard the cut well not cardboard polystyrene it, that's also the insulation you can roughly see how how thick it is if we ignore the these bits of cardboard here because that's the other thing as well uh, the wooden the wooden rim wasn't forming a good enough seal so use some of this corrugated cardboard stuff like I said it's not pretty and I even tried as you can sort of see here, cutting out these like wedges along the um, along the polystyrene there, which would um, go inside these grooves inside the polystyrene roof, and that kind of works. But all of those upgrades were kind of negligible. As to be honest, I after getting that bigger um, cold side heat sink, and there's even a fan there just sitting there inside the box to circulate air lower down. That actually worked a lot better. And well, the other the other issue really is that thing gets so cold on the cold side. Um, condensation is um, the mortal enemy of this device, in the sense that the cold side actually the cold side heat sink will end up just getting like waterlogged. I kid you not. Um, and you the actual cold side does need to be regularly. Uh, when you've finished with it, um, you know, allow time to air because this thing gets, you know, it, it gets very saturated. Like the old cooler, the, the cardboard box one, actually had a bit of rust on the screws of the cold side heat sink. So, you know, a bit of a problem there with um, moisture getting in. I mean, I don't know, the UK is a bit always humid, so, you know, that's always a problem. So, adequate insulation between the hot and cold side here is probably the biggest problem with this thing i mean like i said it does work this box i've seen get as as cold as about three degrees if you fill it up with beer and the like you're likely to get about six to seven degrees after what about five hours of a continuous use assuming you put in the beers uh, at room temperature the wiring isn't too crazy um what's going on up here i'll just show you that temperature sensor there if anyone's wondering it's 22 degrees apparently inside the box which is probably about the temperature of my room now those two wires are obviously going to the Peltier itself that's self-explanatory this mess here it all does make sense to me which I'll just briefly explain power comes in here obviously um, there is a resistor there that actually goes up to this fan here it's a resistor for, for the top fan it slows it down by about 15 to 20 percent I can't even remember what that resistor value even is you can sort of see the color codes if you care to look it up uh, but that resistor is enough just to slow the fan down just slightly and that resistor barely gets warm So it's not like I'm blowing anything up or anything, which is all well and good um, There's a fan controller potentiometer device there that controls the interior cold side fan as well as the fan on the bottom of the box I have it set to about 50 60 percent at present and the said wires go through holes here There's um, the temperature sensor hole is actually right uh, Yeah, right right there and that's about it. Now, the the other the only other issue I had to overcome was actually mounting this tower cooler. And, well, it's not exactly centred and very stably aligned, as you can see. But, very simply, and it's a right mess, I don't mind telling you. Uh, I used a bunch of these um, slot blanks from PCs, because I had loads of these. Uh, and bend them into sort of bracket shapes. So I use the, the natural bottom piece that would normally, you know, the little right angle section of the bracket. Uh, left that as normal. And then bent it around an inch and a half up uh, and along. So the fan is essentially just sitting there. And well, eh, it's not exactly very well secured, but eh, it works. If I make a version 3 of this, I will certainly attempt to do a better job at that. The skewers here, if anyone's wondering why those there, it's to try and hold down the, the tissue insulation, which like I said, not pretty at all. This box is a bit of a fucking mess after I used the wrong tools and had to improvise uh, to get this thing to work. But uh, regardless, it does work in the end. And uh, I probably should, I probably don't want to admit to how uh, how long this thing took for me to build, but um, you can also see there's like remains of uh, tin foil both on like both sides. As I was just troubleshooting the insulation, I think insulation is the biggest problem with this. If I'm being honest, the actual bubble wrap and cardboard combination worked better than the um, the low density polystyrene that I have going on in here. But regardless, it works. There's not much I can do right now. I need to get some money, and even then, do I really want to try and make a version three of this? Maybe I have no idea. So anyway, yes, I'm going to shut up now. That's about all I'm going to say for this. Um, 
version 2 of the Peltier cool box. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this or anything down below in the comments. If you've got any advice for, um, I don't know, future upgrades to this thing, let me know. Or something like that. I don't know. Just, just let me know what you think. Uh, link to my Discord is in the description as always. Andrew to the Jewel by now. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.